Securing broadband internet for Bristol has been a full-time job for town administrator Nick Coates. The big thing for us is going to be that we're going to be able to start covering every home. Coates considers high-speed internet a vital piece to the town's economy and public safety. This is huge because now we can start to connect our police and fire departments with neighboring police and fire departments. This is the the biggest investment in infrastructure in the United States in over 50 years. As one of the lead negotiators on the $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan, Senator Gene Shaheen helped secure $65 billion to expand broadband access. When we invest in infrastructure, we create jobs, whether it's building roads, repairing our bridges, um, again, building out high-speed internet. Other elements in the bill are $110 billion for road and bridge repair, $65 billion to bolster the nation's power grid, and $55 billion to revitalize drinking water infrastructure. Senator Maggie Hassan says expanding passenger rail is also part of it. I think about the impact it would make on the quality of people's lives as well as the quality of our environment and the capacity to attract people to our state to have a connection between Boston, Nashua, Manchester and Concord. But Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who voted for this bill, is now expressing concerns about the framework of a $3.5 trillion budget proposal being pushed by some Democrats. If they want inflation and tax hikes to be their legacy, then Republicans do not currently have the votes to spare the American families this nightmare. Now, next up, the bill will be voted on by the House of Representatives with the House out for August recess, though that may not take place until the fall.